Welcome back, MTG Joe here, and um, we're going to be the bad guys. Uh, I'm trying a couple different decks uh, to get to top 1200. Uh, we were doing really well originally with uh, best of one blue-white control, but ran into a lot of uh, control decks where we had a lot of creature removal, and in best of one it's harder to, without the black mana. So like the ultimatum decks were kind of pushing us out there. Um, so what I wanted to try to do is I ran into like four Yorian decks in a row. Um, this is a Demir Rogues list. This is from Arnie something from the Pro Tour. Arnie Hushimbeth um, that I just tweaked slightly for best of one meta. I like playing best of one towards the end of the season just because your swings aren't as dramatic. Uh, and you can usually get through games faster just to worry about ranking up. Um, so really what I just did was cut down on one Mystical Dispute, one of one mind and went up two crippling fears in the main um, this is a hedge against the creature decks in the best of one format the minus is very good against all the indestructible things um, so let's run this to mill some folks out so naturally i played nothing but control mirrors when i was on the standard or under control so let's pop in and now run into mono red mono red mono red um, I usually like playing rogues. Uh, there is points of the meta where it does get hated out pretty quickly. Against Yorian, this is fine. Yeah, I think this is largely okay. I think I want the blue mana here. This might just be Demir Control. Yeah, looks like Demir Control. Okay, so I have options here this turn. I can go Rune Crab, mill them for six. Which I think I like this line. It does require me to play this Thieves Guild though. You know what, let's do this. Demir Control. See the Crawling Barons and the Negates. Midnight Clock, you got me. So we have to do watch, like, watch out for Shadow's Verdict next turn. Clock is live. Um, well, I can mill more cards this way. I think I want to cycle. Because what are they at? Five. This puts eight. So we hit them. Because if they Shadow's Verdict here, we're in a pretty rough spot. Where at least if I can Zagoth Triome, I can draw into some more gas. This does allow him to play around. So we played a list like this a while ago. The Midnight Clock resolving is very good against our deck. Could be the second black mana. So while we could have maximized the mill, I think we would have done it had they not had the Midnight Clock out. They're also on a Yorian pile, so hard mill is not as likely here. Okay, so that means I don't have Shadow's Verdict. Okay, so we have Thought Thief. Okay, getting rid of Fae of Wishes isn't bad. I think we're doing this because if they have a sweeper I can respond top top is not encouraging this is still only on three okay so we'll let the omen resolve 
see how they set up their scry because if they go top top again yeah now we're gonna make them shuffle getting another black mana here for Agadims. what I am able to do like we got them through 30 cards already Could see Shadow's Verdict, seen at least one milled. Could see a removal spell here. It's fine. What we really want is into the story. Perfect. This could be a counter, so I just want to wait for them to tap out. I will throw this at them on their turn. Okay, so they've found their win con. Notably, our Heartless Axe not looking great here. Jeez. Um, so we're, because we're not drawing cards anytime soon with this glut of lands in hand, Hit their cling to dust. This is at seven, so they can try speeding this up. We got through half their deck. So I want to make it look like we have drowned in the lockup. This is an annoying one. Pairing uh, shuffler truthers out there or uh, uh, algorithms for finding your opponents. Okay, so they get rid of that. That's fine. Gonna flash in Thieves Guild. Problem is like we're not really presenting much of a clock either, which is a bit of a problem. And they are getting to the part where Ugin's a real consideration. I want to try to get it to where I can get rid of this cling. Um, voracious great shark. I think that's fine. Just take it out there. Thirty-nine. We're like almost there. Had they not had this clock, like Mill is a jet, like a really reasonable win con here. Um. I 
I honestly think like we have to play this out like this. Like we play into extinction event, but I'm gonna Okay. That's fine. Makes the Agademes better. So they will shuffle on their turn. So it looks like they're just going to cling here a couple times. It does make our Agademes worse. I guess maybe I wait on Lurus. Okay, the one thing is this does tap them out. So I think we want to, so it's a tricky situation because they likely have counter spells or sweepers at that point in the game. So I think what we're doing, Milling some more here. Doesn't benefit them this turn to draw with the Maze Mines Tome since they'll have to shuffle anyways. What they can do is just put the counter on it this turn. Let's see what they do here. That's fine. So the trick here, if they know how to do it right, is you hold full control. So that way you can use the mana off the midnight clock the turn you get it. Still have a decent amount of creatures in the deck. Still have three into the stories. That's fine. Okay, so they're at 47 cards. So they did exile a good chunk of cards, mostly lands, so. Maybe on the straight gas plan, could see an extinction event here, perhaps. So the story is a real one. So I'm doing this pre-combat for a couple reasons. One, I get the attack trigger. Two, when I play the land, I get it from the Ruin Crab. So this can turn on my Into the Story faster. Uh, I want the Black Source here. Even if they Shark Typhoon here, it's not enough. Don't think we have Blood Chief's Thirst in this version, do we? Maybe a consideration. So they're down to 35 cards. So I could into the story here. 
but I think I want to play it a bit safer. Like they haven't really seen counters out of us. All right, you got me. All into the story here at 33. This is the more mana efficient route. Sucks. Certainly sucks. I think that's fine. I'm holding this for if. Do we have any more crabs in the deck? We have two crabs. So, crab with Fable Passage is decent. So we can screw up their scry here. They're at 32 cards. I think we still have both our eliminates in the deck as well. So eliminate will be, okay, well, that speeds things up. What well, we racing now. Double Heartless Act is good things to flip over. Make sure we can cast this Thought Thief. So we can still mill here. That'll be decent once they start building up a board. What do I have? Let's do this pre-combat. Set up our next draw. I just haven't really, like we've milled so many cards, but okay, they're just going offensive with Barons. Do need to be a bit mindful. Second Barons is also an issue. Come on. We could afford here. They have like a removal spell, it's pretty bad. They're gonna get a ton of value off this Yorian. Yeah, we're just dead. Uh, super frustrating. How many cards we see? Did we all draw lands on the uh, control player? Never saw that entire game. We didn't see a single drown in the lock, which is quite impressive. You'd think by like that point we'd find one. Um, 
Okay, I'm gonna keep this. This hand's actually very good. I'm gonna lead with the Zagoth Triumph because then I can go Crab into Thieves Guild and then follow it up. Mono Red, how do you do? Well, I would say things you want to mill over, double frostbite. We're gonna take the one point of damage here. We don't wanna get stomped through it. Lay out something else. Cool, 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 cool. So I think we're getting Highland here. Mill them over a bit more. So we saw Fervent, Annex, one Cleave come out of them. Actually, how many stomps did we see out of them? Two already, so. Like this, they need to decide what they want to do. This also takes them off cleave for the turn. Okay. Or you could be a professional. Think this turn. That's how many cleaves? Two cleaves. Not quite on Luris yet. into the story next turn. There was like a line where we didn't into the story, but this kind of allows us to get some blockers, potentially trade up with this fervent champion. That's awkward. Okay, so definitely doing this. Definitely doing this. Don't think we're dead to cleave, so I think we're just taking the turn here. Draw some cards, they're down to 25. I need this Torbran off the table, or alternatively, how many cleaves have we seen? Two. So they're probably running the full suite of cleaves. I don't imagine why you wouldn't. Okay, so now we really need to find a counter spell. Jeez. How is this? Um I mean we 
gotta gotta soak up some damage here. Throw it in front of Annex. To do this pre blocker. Okay. This is actually ridiculous how many lines I've drawn. Show me Cleave. Do it on Annex. So we're not dead this turn, but we do need to find an answer, like, soon. Crippling Fear. Crippling Fear. Crippling Fear. Jesus. How many lands is that? How many lands is that? All right, I'm off this. Couldn't draw any non-lands that game, but um, gives you an idea. Like you could kind of play those. We just had really weird variants those two games. Well, appreciate everyone watching. Thanks for stopping by. And as always, if you can, like, comment, and subscribe.